Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Mike at Filmboy24. It's time for round number 14 of let's process and scan some film that was shot a really long time ago. Yes, you heard me right. It is round number 14, and for today's round, we have up to bat an old roll of ectochrome E, well, not E, but ectochrome 160 type A movie film. Now, this is sound film, and this is from the exact same lot of film that we found little Joey on. A couple weeks ago. Uh, I'll put a link somewhere up here of the first roll from this batch. And if you didn't see my last video pertaining to found film, then you missed this. This is what is coming. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but woo. A friend of the channel, new friend of the channel, gave me one of a deal on eBay for 54 rolls, more rolls, whoa, settle down, of this film. Not all sound film, most of it is. 36 of them are this exact sound film, the old E160 stuff. The other 18 rolls are Kodachrome, which are hit and miss for me. Some sound, some silent. He gave me a really, really good deal on that huge lot of film, and I promised him I would mention that if you feel like patronizing his eBay business, please do so. Again, he really helped out this channel. He gave me a great deal on this film. His eBay screen name is cameraman-mike. Cameraman Mike, thank you very much, my friend. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this film. Stay tuned, folks, because we are going to go through it one roll at a time until we get through every single roll. I also have a lot of other rolls that we're going to get through as well, and I have a lot of other content that I myself want to produce and get through myself. So, yeah, if you haven't already, why don't you subscribe? Don't even worry about it. Just subscribe, and then you can always keep up with the antics here at this silly little makeshift studio. So what we're gonna do, I get these from various sources. Like I mentioned, this particular roll came from eBay. Uh, they were previously exposed by an unknown owner of this film and then kind of stored away and forgotten about. This particular incident, there were tons of them stored away and forgotten about. We don't know why. I mean, anything could have happened, I suppose. But we ended up with them and we're not gonna throw them away. They're not gonna end up in the landfill. We're going to process them and scan them, and we're gonna show the world exactly what's on it, because that's really what should happen with this old film. If you should recognize anybody on that film, by the way, why don't you leave me a comment, let me know. Now, this is color film originally. You can still process it in E6 chemicals and get lukewarm results, some good, some bad. To me, it's not worth the risk of ruining an old precious roll of film in 100 plus degree chemicals, because it likes to eat this emulsion, uh, when I know that I can probably get decent results just processing it as a black and white negative. So that's what we're going to do with that particular roll. I'm going to go to my old school classic, HC-110B, 7 minutes, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 68-ish degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but first, I'm going to remove the Remjet with my classic Remjet removal bath, which is one liter of warm water. And I mean warm, not hot. Mixed with four tablespoons of washing soda and one tablespoon of baking soda. Mix it real good. Pour it in. Let it sit for 30 seconds. Pour it out. And then really flush and agitate with fresh water. And typically, the uh, black gooey Remjet will, most of it will come off. If it doesn't, at least it's well loosened and it'll come off during my final rinse. You know, with hands. But I'll show you here in a second exactly how gooey and messy what that looks like in my little montage. At any rate, the first step is we have to take this roll of film into that dark room right behind me, which is a bathroom, 
and load it into this device right here. What's that you say? This is a Lomo, Russian made Lomo UPB 1A 50 foot processing tank. Now it's 50 foot continuous film times two. So it's actually got two separate spirals. You can load 50 feet of Super 8 here and another 50 feet of Super 8 here if you should be so inclined to do so. It also has spacers which are not shown where and you can load two rolls of 16 millimeter 50 foot each at once. Now what we're going to do is eliminate this center spiral. We're going to load this roll in this tank, take it into that 70s kitchen. You need to settle down. 70s kitchen over there and we're going to process it. Let me go load this tank and I'll be right back. And we are loaded up. To say it went well would be a sort of a stretch. It wasn't bad, but sometimes these are a little tricky to get them out of here. Uh, you try to break the little pin back here. You, you wind this backwards and do your best to try to break that pin. Sometimes it doesn't break. I think it just bends in there. So it was a little tricky getting the film to extract. It did a lot of the click, 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 click. Took a little while, but in the end, it worked out just fine. So the film is loaded, all ready to go. You always want to make sure, see, I have two of these tanks, these UPB-1A tanks. One of them, the lid is really, really tight, almost to the point where it's hard, actually hard to get the lid on. This one's really loose. So if you have one like this and it's got a loose lid that wobbles, you may you want to make sure you tape the, uh, tape the lid down tight. Do, do yourself a favor. This lid has kind of, you know, sort of unscrewed itself during processing on me before. Well, it only did it once and I lessened my learn. We'll do that again. Forgot to mention really quickly, uh, per cameraman Mike over there on eBay, um, he's in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. According to Mike, he believes, and don't quote me or him on it, that the owner, the original owner of this film may have had some connection with the Allentown, Pennsylvania area. Again, not set in stone. You know as well as I do with these old films. I mean, this could be Hawaii. I don't know. We haven't processed it yet. You never know where these truly come from. They show up anywhere and everywhere. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, like I mentioned, this will be processed as a black and white negative. And before I get started, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has made this channel what it is today. Never, ever, ever did I think I would get this far into YouTube. I really didn't. I thought it would be a fun little thing for me and a couple of friends and, and family to just enjoy and, and me be able to express publicly what I really love to do. And that's work with film, analog, 80s, horror stuff. It's just my life kind of being broadcast. And I, I never thought I would actually get to a thousand subscribers and, and beyond. And it's because of you guys that I got there. So thank you to every single one of you that has subscribed and supported me so far along the way. I really appreciate it. Especially, you know, you. Yeah, you, especially you. Thank you. So do me a favor real quick while you're chilling. Tap the like button. I'd appreciate it. I'm going to take this into that 70s kitchen. I'm going to process it right now. I'm going to put a little montage up. It is my standard montage. It is not this actual roll. I do use photo flow for this film now, not dish soap, but just gives you an idea of my process. You'll see that montage right now. And when you see me again, well, we'll know something. I'll be right back.
we are back. For you, it was, well, not long at all. But for me, about three and a half hours. Uh, I ate a little bit of lunch. I had a couple of things to do. I had to process film. I had to wait for it to dry. And guess what? We have sights and we have sounds. Yeah, we got them both. Interesting. Uh, I always say unless, you know, films are ridiculously, outlandishly inappropriate that you will see them. And this one is not inappropriate whatsoever. So you will see it. Uh, it's not absolutely perfect. There are a couple of issues here and there. But that's what we get when we process old film. It's not always in focus. It's not always perfectly exposed. It's black and white. We're using a process that, you know, wasn't meant to be. And if you have any questions on my particular workflow or process, leave me a uh, comment down in the description. You, you'll see, look through my other videos, you'll see that I, uh, you know, I respond to essentially everybody that asks questions or, or has comments. So leave me a comment if you have any questions. And before we get into it, uh, before we talk about it anyway, let me show you the film. That's my drug. No mistaking what that is, folks. Uh, audio isn't perfect, but it's not bad. Clearly it's a parade somewhere. I haven't worked out really where. Uh, maybe you can help me. I seemed like somewhere along there, and there's some words there. I saw foothills. I saw, it looked like rosemead panthers, maybe. 
And I think that's a United Community Bank, the big UCB symbol on that building behind there. So Pennsylvania, I don't know. Uh, do a little research for me. You guys are my sleuthuses. I, I don't, I'm not real sure where that's at. Uh, as far as the audio, I extract all of my audio when I process Super 8 film using my Elmo Sound Editor 912. It's a, it's a little, I'll show you a picture of it. It'll run manually in auto and uh, 18 and 24 frames per second. It has a sound head and it also, I just use the headphone jack with a, you know, a dual sided plug right into my uh, recorder and throw it into my timeline and sync it up as good as I can. And I don't think I did a terrible job on this one. Uh, it was a little different because there, there really is no voices or there are a couple of voices, but there's no, you know, you can't sync up the mouth movement, loud spikes, anything like that. So it's mainly all just the marching bands and whatnot anyway. So it is what it is. We got audio and I am overall very happy, happy, happy guy about it. My wife just walked in the door. Hi, honey. Hi. She went and got me some more coffee. You look like I need more coffee. Mm -hmm. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Give Nicole a big thank you for me. She takes good care of me. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already, how about consider subscribing? I have a ton more of this, as you saw, like 53 more rolls from this batch. I would greatly appreciate your subscription. Uh, do me a favor and leave me a comment if you got any ideas about where that might be. You know, the little parade thingy. Leave it down there. And until the very next time that I see each and every one of you ridiculously wonderful people. Head bob and all. I'll see you on the next go around.